Hi, I'm Patrick Sullivan from Samsung, and I'm here at Infocom to introduce you to the new analytics features in Magic Info 7. These new features will help business owners analyze, develop, and grow their business. Let's get started. In retail, we're finding a correlation between external factors and product sales. External factors such as the weather outside or what was on sale last year at this time. And we can use that information to increase and improve our sales. For instance, when it's cold outside, people might be interested in buying and drinking red wine. And when it's warm outside, people might be interested in buying and drinking white wine. So with Magic Info Analytics Package, we can actually see that correlation. We're monitoring and reporting on what's going on on sunny days versus cloudy days versus rainy days. We can also use the rule design tool to send content to the screens that's relevant for the condition. For instance, when it's rainy, we can send the ads of rainy day uh, products to the screen. Advertising budgets are very precious and we want to make sure we're getting the best return on our investment with advertising. With the Magic Info Sales Performance Report, we can compare the revenue of products that are advertised versus the revenue of the products that are not advertised, and then we can see if our advertising is being effective. As we look at the Sales Trend Analysis Report, we can see the bar chart reflecting total sales and showing advertised products in the blue versus non-advertising products in the yellow, and we can see the sales revenue generated from the results of those ads. With NextShop Analytics, we can report on the revenue generated by advertisement all the way down to the SKU level. In our Ad Sales Uplift report, we can see at a SKU by SKU level how what we advertise impacts the revenue from the products. Magic Info also has a customer behavior sensing capability where we can have sensors throughout the store tracking customers going in and out and customers moving around. How much dwell time, how long they're spending in that area, and how many people are going in and out of the store. We can then take that information and run reports showing that customer behavior, where we can show the foot traffic of the stores and the number of visitors we have. We have heat map reports that show where people are and their motion around the different areas. The red and darker colors show more motion and more people. The lighter colors, the yellows and the greens, show fewer people. Our Brightix AI platform is a big data analytics platform that provides very fast and accurate data processing. It processes data based on IoT information or other databases that are available and it can correlate that data into actionable information. Stores gather a great deal of information on their customers during the checkout process. We know what the customers prefer. We know how often they buy things. We even know who our customers are through membership programs. When they swipe their card, they're giving us their their personal information, they're giving us the products that they choose and prefer. That information can be used to assist in advertisings and promotions, maybe coupons. This information can be extremely helpful as we learn about our customers and we build our advertising programs to grow our business. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this information useful and I hope you're as excited as I am about these new analytic features in Magic Info 7.